Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and MIUI 11 is here. Yes, the MIUI 11 update based on Android 10 is coming to a lot of Xiaomi devices in the next few months and brings quite a few interesting changes and new features. Well, we have the Chinese ROM of the MIUI 11 installed on our Redmi K20 Pro and brings almost all of the features Xiaomi talked about at the Note 8 Pro event and a lot more surprises. Well, we'll talk about all of that but before we do that, I'd suggest you to hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's talk MIUI 11. First up, the biggest change in MIUI 11 is the new UI. Yes, MIUI 11 brings a visual revamp of MIUI and you know, I love it. So this is MIUI 11 next to MIUI 10 and you can see that the icons are now more refined with a squircle shape and every other UI element has the same curved corners and it looks, well, more unified and clean. All the stock apps have been redesigned too with this new UI and I like the fact that the animations are also smoother. And after updating the K20 Pro to MIUI 11, the phone just felt more smoother and responsive, so that's good. Anyway, there's also this new font which I think looks really nice and there's support for dynamic font scaling and you now have an option to set the font weight as well. Look, I've never really been a fan of MIUI's inconsistent UI, but the MIUI 11's new UI looks pretty good. If you like the ambient display aka the always on display feature on the K20 Pro, you're gonna love MIUI's ambient display options. There are just so many options now. As you can see, there are so many cool ambient display styles to choose from. You can just tap on the one you like and you get this really nice preview along with different options. There are also these signature styles where you can add your custom text for the lock screen. It's really cool and very customizable. That's not all though. You know how new Xiaomi phones don't have a notification LED? Well, MIUI 11 brings a notification LED-like light screen feature. So here you get these different screen lighting effects for when you get a notification. Yeah, it's a lot like edge lighting on Samsung phones, but I hope it works more consistently. So MIUI 11 is based on Android 10 and so it brings the dark mode and I think the dark mode with the MIUI 11's new UI looks beautiful here. But what's really new in MIUI 11 is a couple of really handy features that Xiaomi adds to the dark mode. First up, there's the global dark mode option. As the name gives away, this option makes sure that when you have the dark mode enabled, even the non-compatible third-party apps turn to a dark theme. Yes, it's like the forced dark mode option in developer options in stock Android. But I like how Xiaomi has placed it front and center. Anyway, another great feature here is the ability to schedule dark mode. You can schedule it based on the time and it's very handy. Okay, so there were rumors of a fast share feature in Android 10 similar to AirDrop in Apple devices, but hey, that did not happen. But don't worry, MIUI 11 brings a new Mi Share feature. Yes, this is an AirDrop-like feature that uses Bluetooth and internet to share files easily from one phone to another. It's super easy. You share a file, tap on the device nearby and done. It's simple. However, what's truly great and new about this feature is it'll work with Vivo, Realme and Oppo phones as well. Yeah, this is part of the alliance these companies formed recently. I mean, Realme already has this Realme Share feature, but it's not working with the Mi Share feature right now. Maybe it'll work with the Android 10 update. We'll wait and see. Along with the new dynamic fonts I talked about in MIUI 11, there's also new dynamic sound effects. The MIUI 11 update comes with new dynamic sound effects that remind you of ambient sounds from nature. So how exactly are these dynamic? For example, when it comes to alarm ringtone, I can select weather alarm to get different tones depending on the weather. Or I can set weekly alarm to get different alarm tones every single day of the week. It's all really cool. Apart from that, MIUI 11 can detect if a call is from a cab or food delivery service and play a different ringtone accordingly. Yeah, this is super cool. So MIUI 11 brings quite a number of new features in the battery page. Well, there's the automated tasks which lets you automate things to save battery. You can set a certain time to keep the phone in airplane mode, turn on a bunch of settings when the battery is at 15 or 20% and you can even set your own tasks. This is useful. 
Apart from that, there's also scheduled power on and power off. But the one feature I really like is the Ultra Battery Saver. It's very similar to the Ultra Battery Saver in Samsung and Huawei phones, but hey, it's handy. First of all, I love this animation and well, as it tells you, this mode restricts apps, background activity, decreases screen brightness and switches to the dark theme to make sure your battery lasts long. In this mode, you can select the apps you want to use so you can still use your phone if you want to while extending the battery life. Next up are the app updates. So MIUI brings some major upgrades to certain apps. My favorite is the new calculator app. First up, the calculator app now has a floating mode. You can tap this button here and it's now in a floating window. You can even set its transparency. Well, this means you don't have to switch between different apps to, you know, do some calculations. I can see this being super handy, but there's more. The calculator app now also lets you calculate your age if that's something you have a problem with. Calculate EMI, split bills with your friends, evaluate GST and more. Yeah, it's feature packed. The Notes app has been updated too. With MIUI 11, the Notes app brings tasks. Yes, there's a new tasks tab here and you can even add a task here by typing or you can use this icon to add a task with your voice. This is great, but what I like the most is you can enable the task toolbox option. And with this, you'll be able to see your tasks or add a new task from any page with a single swipe from here. Yeah, it's that simple. The file manager has been updated as well with the new app. You can preview all types of files, be it Word files, PowerPoint files, or even Excel files right here. This is powered by WPS Office and in my brief time with it, it works flawlessly. So you know what, this is a great addition. There's a lot more to MIUI 11, but if you're wondering about the ads, well, this is the China ROM and I haven't found a single one tap solution to remove all the ads, but maybe the Indian ROM or the global ROM will feature it, we'll see. Anyway, like I said, there's a lot more to MIUI and there are a lot of new features that we haven't talked about. But we have a dedicated article on the same, so check that out from the link in the description down below. Also, you can check out the list of all supported devices that will be getting the MIUI 11 update from the link below, so check that out as well. So which is your favorite new MIUI 11 feature? For me, it has to be the new calculator app and the new UI. I love it. Anyway, what about you? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends who have been using Xiaomi devices. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.